Stu and Emma have been dating for five years but have known each other since high school. Self-proclaimed adventurers, their relationship has taken them everywhere from national parks to Machu Picchu. And it's that exploratory spirit they want to bring to their wedding this June. Our wedding theme is travel. It's what we love to do. It's how we spend time together. Um, and it's, it's a for us, that is something that we, we really prioritize in our relationship. And Emma's parents also have the travel bug. They've collected postcards from all their destinations during the course of their 30 plus year marriage. And when they knew Emma and Stu were ready to tie the knot, they decided to go through their collection and give the couple a way to set the tone for their travel themed wedding. So they went through and culled a bunch of their extras out and gave them to us. And all we did for our save the day dates was address and we had a stamp and we stamped you know our names and the date of the wedding and location on these postcards so everybody got a different one. And wedding planners say picking details that are unique to you keep your wedding from being cookie cutter. I think my biggest piece of advice on all the details that you see nowadays is that you should stay very personalized. Make sure you bring in elements that are about you. And that's exactly what Stu and Emma plan to do. Their wedding ceremony will be in Emma's grandmother's backyard with only close family in attendance. But the next day there will be a big party in grandma's backyard that will not only be very personal to this couple, but majorly cut down on costs. Everyone can come in sandals and hang out in the backyard. Um, there's no seating arrangements because it's kind of just a fun party to hang out. Um, we don't have to rent a church. Uh, we don't have to rent chairs. The couple also slashed costs by taking loved ones up on their offers to help. My sister is a pastry chef, so she's making the dessert. So I don't have to spend money on a wedding cake because she said, I want to do something. Well, great. Would you make cupcakes or will you make the dessert? Will you whatever you can contribute? And it's personal touches like that which makes Stu and Emma feel as though this celebration is all about them and no one else. Those pieces ultimately make it so it's about us. It's about celebrating this relationship and this moment. A moment this couple is sure to remember during all their years to come. In Columbia, Stephanie Helling, Watch Fox News.